Victimology, Theories and Applications, Chapter 6, Child Abuse and Neglect. Case Examples, Senator Scott Brown, Oprah Winfrey. Scope of the Problem, four approaches have been used to examine the occurrences of child maltreatment. Collecting prospective data in selected communities, asking adults about the details of how they've treated their children over a specific period, asking children about how their experiences of violence, asking adults how they were treated during childhood. Epidemiological research shows high incidence of children's exposure to complex trauma. Congressionally mandated study of incidence of abuse and neglect, NIS3. Daily cost of childhood abuse and neglect is estimated to be $258 million. Typology of child maltreatment. Maltreatment includes neglect, physical abuse, sexual, sexual abuse, emotional maltreatment. Neglect, characterized by omissions in care. Inadequate food, clothing, shelter, supervision, or medical care may include abandonment of child, can be a one-time incident, usually a pattern of unsafe care which can be as a result of a mental illness or substantive abuse on the part of the adult caregiver. Physical abuse. Burns account for 50% of abuse, hot tap water and contact burns, shaken baby syndrome, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Cases of child abuse. Joel Steinberg convicted of manslaughter in 1987, death of the six-year-old girl he had adopted. Head and Nussbaum, his partner, has suffered extensive and permanent injuries from him as well. Sexual abuse. Victims from infants to adolescents includes physical contact for the purpose of arousing or gratifying sexual desire in the perpetrator or the victim. Child pornography is sexual abuse. It is the permanent record of sexual abuse exploitation of a child. Emotional maltreatment. Emotional abuse or neglect. Repeated pattern of caregiver behavior that conveys to a child that they are worthless. Most difficult form of abuse to identify. Legislation and child maltreatment. Legislation passed in 1960s and 1970s. Major changes in how clinicians, government, and society respond to child maltreatment. Definition of child maltreatment. Broadened to include an all-encompassing definition of maltreatment first recognized in the 1960s, followed by recognition of child sexual, sexual abuse in the 1970s and 1980s. Increasingly clear children reporting on one type of abuse often suffer others as well. The etiology of child maltreatment. Bavilek noted four abnormalities in the child-parent relationship that can lead to abuse or neglect. Inappropriate parental expectations of child, lack of empathy toward child's needs, parents' belief in physical punishment, parental role reversal. Belsky believed in more complex factors or layers of systems. Fowler, perpetuation of sexual abuse, offender sexual arousal to children, intent to act on this arousal. The mandated reporter. Types of professionals mandated to report on child maltreatment has expanded to include almost anyone who comes into contact with children. Expected to report both by telephone and in writing. Reasonable suspicion in most states is enough. Failure to report a suspected case places the child at risk and can result in prosecution from the state. The role of child protective services. They investigate suspected cases, place children in foster care, attempt to help families receive additional services. Collaborative investigations. Fifth major change is how cases are investigated, can include CPS and the police. Many states have passed legislation for the development of regional multidisciplinary investigative teams. Obtaining information from children. A major change in the last two decades has been increasing attention to research on children as reporters of their experience, especially reports of sexual abuse, how they describe events and factors that affect reporting, guidelines and training of professionals about asking non-leading questions have been established. Attention to prevention. Major strategy in prevention has been the use of regular and frequent home visits for high-risk individuals. The clinician focuses on providing advice about effective parenting, helping mothers develop parenting skills, making good decisions about returning to school, daycare, etc., recognizing early problems related to family violence, ensuring that child receives medical care, helping families link to community-based services. Increase in research. Increase markedly has impact on practice, understanding the scope of the problem and the short long-term problems of child maltreatment. Is not just a childhood problem, contributed to describing child maltreatment and the range of clinical presentations and findings. The consequences extend into adult life. Three epidemiological approaches follow maltreated children over time, 
case control design, then asking subjects about childhood experiences with abuse. Identify a sample of adults from a specific population and compare the outcomes to groups with and without the experiences. New interest in how early experiences affect the developing brain and neuroendocrine system. Dynamics of disclosure in child abuse. Varies by type of abuse. Three types of sexual abuse disclosures. Immediate, delayed, incremental. Dynamics of sexual abuse are pressure, sex, and secrecy in known relationships. To disclose may give subtle message to gauge reaction and trust in person, may become symptomatic or victim self-reports. Effect of traumatic events on children. Common general symptoms include withdrawn behavior, depression, changes in sleeping and eating, etc. School problems can occur. May become highly anxious or feel guilty, hypersexual or sexual avoidance. No standard or typical symptom. Reactions and symptoms depend on age at time of abuse, age of time disclosure, etc. Developmental traumatology. How children process trauma depends on age and level of development. Preschool children may lose recently acquired developmental milestones and or regress. Some children process, process the event through post-traumatic play, which will continue until the child's anxiety is reduced. Adolescents may foster a radical shift in views of the world, may become self-destructive and reckless. Typologies of sex offenders of children. Two basic ways an offender gains access to a child. Pressuring the child in sexual activity through enticement, encouragement, or instruction, forcing the child through threat and intimidation or physical duress. Pressured versus forced encounters. Pressured initially establishes a non-sexual relationship with the child. Offender appears to have a high emotional investment in the child. This type of offender does not find satisfaction in his, her adult relationships. Describe the event, describe their victims in positive terms. Forced. Gains access to child through intimidation and verbal threats. May resort to physical force. Comparable to rape. Offenders describe victim, victims negatively. Child is selected to make the offender feel stronger. Child may represent everything negative the offender feels about himself. Situational predators versus prefer, preferential predators. Situational. Evidence of impulsive, opportunistic, predatory behavior. Do not have a true sexual preference for children, but do it for a variety of reasons can range from one-time to long-term pattern of behavior. Vulnerable individuals may also be at risk. Preferential. Involves strong patterns of behavior, sexual rituals. Pedophile might have other psychological disorders. Sexual interests may be combined with other paraphilias. Preferential child molester must have high amount of victim contact, high level of fixation or pedophilic interest. High contact versus low contact offenders. High contact includes structured and non-structured involvement with a victim through occupation or recreation. Victim may visit the offender's home. Offender act like, acts like parent or older sibling. Three or more sexual encounters with the same victim is considered high contact. Low contact, offenders who have spent little or no time with the victim outside of the rape. Case of a prefer preferential child molester, crime spree, and multiple victims. Case analysis. Crime spree, one continuous event, started on August 28th, ended on 30th, with multiple locations and no cooling off period. Was always looking for victims. Mission oriented, targeted homes that had toys outside. Type of child offender. Burton, preferential child molester. Long history of incident exposure to children. This type of offender is more likely to abduct because of poor social skills. Cannot seduce. Crime spree pattern with classical escalation, culminating with B&E and attempted abduction. Complex child trauma refer to the range of clinical symptomatology that appear after such exposures. Can result in self-regulatory, attachment, anxiety, and affective disorders in infancy and childhood. Addictions, aggression, and eating disorders. Disassociative, somatoform, metabolic, cardiovascular, and immunological disorders. Sexual disorders in adolescent and adulthood. Read victimization. Cause of complex trauma. Early sustained abuse can produce physiological changes in the developing brain. Social bonding can fail or become a narrow. The child who lacks protection by a caretaker experiences tremendous anxiety and may survive by disassociating him or herself from the trauma. Children become isolated and disconnected from others. Jane was a drug baby born of weighing two pounds. 
a twin, one of eight kids from different fathers, a child of inconsistent caregiving, multiple adults in and out of the house. Victim of incest at six, brother offered her to his friend for sex. She began taking money for sex as a young adolescent. Case analysis. Current psychiatric di diagnoses cannot adequately account for the full range of difficulties that traumatized children experience. PTSD is often used, also ADHD and ODD. These each capture an aspect, but not the whole.